When Sir Handel and Peter Sam arrived, they found they had much to learn. What a small shed, grunted Sir Handel. This won't do at all. We're much too smart for this old shack. I think it's nice, said Peter Sam. Huh, replied Sir Handel. What's that rubbish? Now, Sir Handel, said the fireman, I will get you ready for work. I'm tired. Let Peter Sam go. He'd love it. No, you're first. Whatever next. Those aren't coaches, they're cattle trucks. <laughs> It's not what I'm used to, blanks a handle. Hello, who are you? I'm Gordon. Who are you? I'm Sir Handel. I've heard of you. You're an express engine. So am I, but I'm used to smart coaches, not these cattle trucks. Do you have smart coaches? I see you do. We must have a chat. Sorry, I can't stop. We must keep time, you know. Gordon was speechless. We'll leave the coaches now and fetch some trucks from the quarry. Trucks? snorted Sir Handel. Trucks? I won't, so there. Sir Handel was about to cause a great deal of trouble. No! When Sir Handel crawled home, he found the fat controller waiting for him. I'm banishing you to the Shadow Realm. No! Sir Handel had been naughty. Anyone would think that he wanted to work, said Sir Handel. Who was lonely and bored. Peter Sam and Sir Handel were glad to see Rusty. Even so, Sir Handel wouldn't stop calling. The trucks didn't like Sir Handel and wanted to play tricks on him. No one understands our feelings, sympathised Gordon. Now, if you were ill, you couldn't shun trucks, could you? Good idea, replied Sir Handel. I'll try it. He did so next morning. I don't feel well, Bruh. he groaned. I'm sorry about your accident, said Sir Handel. I always stand well back. Trucks don't like me. Why didn't you warn me? I didn't think. You never do. You can start thinking now while you're doing Peter Sam's work as well as your own. That'll teach you to pretend you are ill. <laughs> Sir Handel is very proud of his big sturdy wheels. They have broad tires and hold well to the rails, but they are unusual. One day, the other engines wouldn't stop teasing him. Look at his steamroller wheels, they joked. Be quiet, snorted Sir Handel. You're jealous. Don't worry, soothed Peter Sam. The engines all teased me about my special funnel until they learned how useful it is. Did you hear that? Huffed Sir Handel. My wheels are special, like Peter Sam's funnel. I can go faster than any of you. With your grand wheels, Sir Handel, said Scarloe, you're just the engine to tackle George. Who's George? That steamroller over there, replied Scarloe. Listen. The steamroller was making rude remarks about the engines. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. Pull them up. Turn them into roads. Railways are no good. Turn them into roads. Pull them up. Turn them into roads. Don't worry, said Sir Handel. Leave him to me. I'll send him packing. George will soon get a run for his money. Later that morning, George was at the level crossing. Huh. You're Sir Handel, I suppose. Sir Handel was standing no nonsense. And you, I suppose, are George? Yes, I've heard of you. And I've heard of you. You swank around with your steamroller wheels, pretending you're as good as me. Actually, I'm better. Oh! 